As for other counties in our area, some are issuing refunds, while others are sticking to the policy of non-refundable licenses. NBC 26's Alex Hagan is live in the newsroom tonight to break it all down. Alex? Well, Stacy, other counties did not have the same events as Atagami County today. Some couples got refunds, others did not. But getting that money back was not the worst possible thing for one Door County couple. It's disappointing. And unexpectedly quiet tonight at the Chanticleer Guest House in Sturgeon Bay. Family's all here. People took off of work. We had dinner reservations, cake ordered. Darren Day and Brian Greshel supposed to say I do at this gazebo today. Didn't happen due to a recent appeal. We'll go on, but you know, we, we were so looking forward to having our families. Now dealing with a non refundable marriage license from the Door County clerk. I paid to get a marriage certificate to get married today. You know, we had this all planned. You know, families here every day, um, and we can't do it again. Couple not alone. Brown County clerk Sandy Juno says three couples chose not to waive the five day waiting period. Fees were non refundable, and uh, that was their choice to take that risk. As for Winnebago County, the clerk would refund the fee to two couples. For Day and Greshel, the money not as important as walking down the aisle at the Chanticleer guest house. We're going to win eventually the end. We'll win. Now, licenses are valid for 30 days in Wisconsin, so all of these couples can still use their licenses if the court upholds the judge's ruling by that time. Reporting live in the Green Bay Newsroom, Alex Hagan, NBC 26. More than 500 licenses were issued statewide after Judge Crabb struck down the gay marriage ban on June 6th.